Hey folks, it's Rivgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here in Boulder Canyon. I am just going to let that one carry on with a bit of cultivating there, but what I'm also going to do is, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go to this one, and I'm going to let this one finish this one line down through, and then I'm going to take it and just start doing that little bit over that side. We've got that stump to do down there. I'm hoping that I can. I've pretty much just put in the other edit of the stump grinder that I'd done previously. So it should, I'm hoping, be able to take care of it. Whether it actually does or not, I, I don't really know. We'll have to wait and see. But I'm hoping that it will be able to work along with that. And, and we won't, we're not going to have any issues with it. I'm hoping. See, I mean, this one's stopping here anyway. Oh, no, he's not. He's going to carry on and do it. So we know that there's a stump in there under the ground. The hired help is getting a little bit hinky with it. Actually, I'll tell you what. Rather than sending this one off, I'm just going to stop that one right there. I'm going to go back over to this one. And... that I, No, again, that one can just carry on doing what it's doing. And instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this tractor here. And I'm going to run back down to the other end. We're going to get the fertilizer spreader and we're going to start spreading a little bit of fertilizer onto that grass up there. And then once we've got that one and we've got that one up there and it started spreading fertilizer, then I can go and get the case. And I should just be able to quickly whip off that stump. But that's what I'm hoping. It should be able to reach under the ground and grab the stump. If it can't, then we're going to have to go with option two, which is I don't really know what option two is. To be honest. Kind of hoping there's something we can do with it. But um, yeah, I, I don't actually know what that is at the moment. I need to go around the other side of this one. And go over here. We'll load it all up with fertilizer. I don't think it's loaded with fertilizer at the moment. Get that one back onto there. There we go. No, it's not loaded up. And we will load it up completely with fertilizer. Then we will rush off over to the field over there. And I'm hoping that we'll be able to spread some fertilizer onto that field. Load it up. Off we go. And then in the morning, we should be able to do some mowing on this field. Actually, no, I don't, I don't think it'll be ready in the morning. Um, it will be ready soon, though. We will soon be ready to start doing a little bit of mowing. Um, the important thing that I'd like to know this week is about where you want me to put the new sheep pen. I'm not doing an official question or anything like that, but I am sort of... I am asking a question, and it is open to everybody to respond. Get into the comments section and respond to the question. Um, where do you think we should put our sheep pen? I've, I've given you basically two options. I will very quickly show you. Let's just start that one off. A little bit too close to this end, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, he's going incredibly slowly up through there. While he does that, we're going to go over here. Animal pens, large chicken coop like this. And I come all the way back down over here. Do you think I should put the chicken coop... Uh, not the chicken coop. It'll be a large sheep pen, so it's bigger than this. Do you think I should put it here? Just the other side of this track here. So it'll end up being sort of something like that. And we put the large sheep pen there. Or do you think I should bring it over here? And put it down here so it's sort of alongside the road over here. So alongside the road or near the existing sheep pen. Get into the comments section and let me know what you think. And I will do my best to um, put it all into the right place. I've... 15% of this load has already gone out onto the field. This, this is... Um, this, this is not a good use of fertilizer. This is, this is absolutely not a good use of fertilizer here. Nearly 25% of the entire load before we get to the top of the hill. I'm hoping that things can be improved on that. Uh, downhill, I think it's going to be better. There is a mod that does let it does um, change the yield as you go up and down the hill. It does uh, change the amount that is put out. However, I have been told by a few people that there, at least there was an issue with that particular mod where it affected the combine yield as well going up the hill. If the combine slowed down, you got less coming out of it. I really don't want that. That is something that we really, really want to avoid. So I'm not so sure about that particular mod. 
Um, we'll, we'll wait and see, I think, on that one. Right, I'm, I'm just going to leave that one to carry on there. It's probably wasting a huge amount of fertilizer. You can keep going with what you're doing. So what we'll do is we will lower that one down. Like that. And we will use this tractor to do the little bit of stump grinding. We haven't got very much to do. We've only got one stump here that we need to remove. And I'm hoping this is going to work. I've no idea if it actually will, but I am hopeful. Lower that one down and lift it up a little bit. You can do that on the mouse with this one. Oh. Oh, oh, we definitely had something happen there. We definitely had something happen. This is good. If it does absolutely fine, you know, we, we've altered this stump grinder way beyond sort of what would be 100% realistic. But honestly, I don't think anybody right now is going to really care about that. Uh, let's go into here a second. And we're going to go to landscaping. Start landscaping over here. And you can see there, right? We don't own the land. It's not going to let me do that. And if I go around here, it's spot on perfect. It's absolutely spot on perfect. There we go. Okay, that's that's that bit done. Okay. Yeah, my voice is getting a bit croaky. I need to drink more coffee. That's what I need. Yeah, we've done that bit down there. And I can bring this one back over here and put that into there. Start that one up. And we're now planting. It should go all the way right on through. Don't you dare stop. It thought about stopping there for a second. Why did it think about stopping? I'm going to jump off of that one a minute. Just let that one carry on. And I'm going to go back to landscaping here. Why did it think about stopping? Uh-oh. I've still got a bit there that we've got to do. Right, so I've got one more there that we've actually still got to do. So there were two stumps under there. That does make sense. That makes a lot of sense, actually. The, the, um, the, the way the stumps work, we generally did seem to get quite a lot of them all in one place. So I'm just going to stop you there a second. I'm not going to let you carry on any further. And then I'm going to go over to this one and you've got... Well, we'll let you do this one pass and we'll run you down the hill and we'll use you just to finish off the bit down the bottom. Um, that last little bit, we'll just pick that up with the sea drill in anyway. Or we'll come back through and do it and we'll actually do the bit over behind the rock as well. And we will do all of the cultivating apart from that strip that we've just missed. Right, let's stop you right there, lower you down and unhitch you there, help it jet, oh, help it E is complete. That's because he just completed and then I pressed the button to say carry on. Uh, I, I pressed the button because I thought it was completed, but it wasn't and it, yeah, uh, you, you, I, I know what I mean. I know what I mean. He, he basically, he, he was finished and I said that you're not finished and he said that he was finished and, and stuff like that and really shouldn't go flying down the hill at complete full speed slamming on the brakes because the, the brakes just don't work at that kind of speed it, it just doesn't happen and you there with your really slow fertilizer application going up the hill that's not helpful either now it's somewhere around here I'll just lift that up a little bit so that we can actually get the wheels gripping on the ground Did that grind something off? The job to tell, really. It is a job to tell if it's actually done something here or not. Um. Right, well, I'll, I'll bring it down the bottom of the hill a little bit and we'll stop right there just like that and then we'll go back in here we'll start landscaping and still got right there it's right here there, there's a spot right there terrain cannot be modified okay 
We can find that spot. I'm going to turn this one round so that we're facing forward. I'm hoping that that might actually do it. Let's turn that one off a second. It goes faster if we switch him off. And it's somewhere right there in the middle in this spot. Helper D has stopped working unexpected. It's not really unexpected that your tank is empty, considering how much fertilizer you've been throwing out on the ground as you've been going up that hill. Right? That's, that's not an unexpected error. There's nothing unexpected about it whatsoever, actually. Now, what would be nice is if this one did what it's supposed to do. If we could just... Oh, 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 there. I just seen wood chips come out. I haven't seen any more. But I'm pretty sure that is all we're going to need anyway. I'm pretty sure that'll be it. Let's bring you down there. Like that, and I'll back you up over here. Just a second. There we go. You can stop there a minute. Thank you very much, sir. Start landscaping, and... It is gone. Right, excellent. That stump is now ground. It is a ground stump. Oops, no. Keep you going, and you go like that. And then I want to go... Back to this one... I'm going to go and get some more fertilizer. I'm thinking, really, we should be using a different tractor to do this fertilizer spreading. Because, uh, quite frankly, we've, um, we've wasted an awful lot. I mean, perhaps I ought to do this slightly differently. If I was to only be spreading as I come up the hill, uh, down the hill, rather, um, that might be a better way of doing it. And you can see stripes all over the place. That's just because of where the grass was on the field originally. And... The bits that we cleaned off like that, and then the bits that we didn't touch, that's all that was um, done with that bit. And then all of this over here, this will all be changed as well. We'll end up with a track like that going between the two fields, so long as everything goes according to plan. Not everything may go according to plan. We, we may have one or two issues come up as, as we try to do this, but I'm, I'm hoping. I'm, I'm very hopeful. I'm confident. Very confident that we can do all of this. We can get it all done perfectly and exactly and precisely. Whiz you in round there like that. Um, a little bit further. Braked a bit hard on that one. And over to there. Right. Get you over. I'm going to take you up. We'll get this one back and we'll put this one spreading fertilizer again. I'm not going to worry too much about it. We'll just... Um, I'll, I'll just set him going again and then I'll... Um, I'll leave it. Then we'll get the case back with the cultivator again. And we'll go up to the bit just the top side of the rock and we'll do that. And that's going to be pretty much everything then that we need to do. I don't think there's going to be much else that we need to worry about. Help us see is blocked by an object. How is help us see blocked by an object? Help us see is still going. Not very blocked, are they? Helper C seems to have unblocked himself, which, I mean, I'm, I'm quite proud of Helper C, to be honest. You know, normally, these people, they're, they're not capable of thinking for themselves at all. And yet, Helper C has proven that they are indispensable in the, um, in, in the world of uh, Farming Simulator. Well, they're indispensable here in the mountains. And once again, it is uh, Sarah. Her sister Sarah was obviously fired last week. But Sarah who, just as a coincidence, is a absolute identical twin. So identical, in fact, that they've got the same social security number, which I didn't even know was possible, but apparently it is. So, Well, that's what she told me when she came back for the job. She said she was a twin sister and, and so on. But we went over all of this last week, so we don't need to go into it now. Um, yeah, I'm weaving around a bit. I'm trying to find a straighter line to get up this hill. This is surprisingly steep. I'm thinking that really we ought to change over and use a different vehicle for doing the fertilizer spreading because otherwise there's a bit of waste. I'm just going to park you there for a second and I'm going to go... No, I'm going to go this way through them. I'm going to go to that one. And I'm just going to inch forward a minute and I'm going to drop that one down there. And then I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to get the cultivator and I'm going to cultivate the little bit over there above that stone. And then that's all the cultivating done. Well, apart from that little strip down there. But I, and honestly, I, I don't really care about that bit. 
I'm I'm happy to just kind of overlook the fact that that bit even exists. And we've also got a little tiny strip right there. But again, I, well, you know, as we're here, I suppose we may as well do it. We just we'll grab that one little bit. I'll back you up down here. There. I'm quite pleased that we have got rid of those stumps. Right, we've now got rid of every single stump in here. In future, we won't be doing that messing around with um, digging the great big holes. That that was that was a, 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 a test, a trial, and it failed miserably. That will not be happening again. We've got the stump grinder now set how it should be set. And as so many people pointed out, the stumps thing was more of a map issue than anything else. Um, well, it was it was a map issue. The, the, um, the trees were too far underneath the surface of the map, so it didn't work properly. Um, and, I mean, this, this is a common thing that happens with maps. So it's, it's not just this map. Um... Unless the trees are set exactly right, you, your stump grinders don't take them out properly, and it is a little bit of a nuisance. There's not a lot that we can do about it, so we're not going to worry about it. I'm going to put that one there. And I'm hoping that he's going to just finish this bit off here. We've also got the test now, because we haven't used hired help on this piece over here either. There's, there was a little bit of messing around there. And I'm not quite sure what that was about. Because he sort of went up and then he reversed down and whether there's another tree stump under there or whether it's something to do with this stone, I'm not entirely sure. He's going up near the stone. Now what's he doing? Now he's, he's turning around the other way. So, I mean, we can at least find out if there's any stumps on this bit over here. I don't think there is. I and mean, we were quite careful when we sort of went through and picked everything out. And we, we did spend a bit of time just making sure that we'd gotten everything. So I don't think that there is any stumps there. But there is one little test that I'm going to do. is I'm going to go to landscaping again. And we're going to run our test. And I'm going to go over here. I'm just going to have a little look around. Is there anything here? I, we've got terrain can't be modified there. But that goes right in. Over where this big stone is, all the way in. Yeah? It comes out that far. And then it comes down. So there's a little bit where it sticks out there. But I think that is actually the stone. Because if you look at this stone underneath the ground, it sort of sticks out this way quite a bit. And that bit there, it goes under the ground. And it does stick out this way here a little bit. So that is likely just a stone and not actually a stump. At least that's what I'm, I'm... I'm making an assumption here. I am assuming, but... I think it's a fair assumption. Why is he speeding up and slowing down? What's going on there? Is that the cultivator causing problems? Let's do this again. We'll test this. Well, I'm not getting it. There's, there's nothing coming up. It would go red because we've got that. I've like disabled the uh, place anywhere. It would go red if there was a stump under the ground, but it doesn't. Because I mean, you look over here. Like if if I go near the tree, it immediately goes terrain cannot be modified. So it's not doing that anywhere up there. So that's a fair indication that it is probably all right. It, it might just be that the cultivator is a bit worn out, and so it's slowing down like that. It could very well be causing a, a slight problem with it. Hmm. Right. Let's go... No, not to you. Let's go and have a look at this one. How are we doing over here? We've got... A couple of little tiny bits just on the edges down there, which we will go back down and deal with. But generally speaking, we're doing a really good job of planting all the grass up here. We've got just another little bit over that side just to finish off. That won't take too long either. I'm not doing the fertilizer. I'm actually not going to do the fertilizer with that tractor. So, what do I want to carry back with that tractor? I'll tell you what, with th these are these are still working. They're, they're doing fine. You're doing fine as well. So let me go to this one, and I'll lower that down like that. And I'm going to leave that fertilizer in the middle of the field, all full. I'm going to take this tractor down here and I'm going to hook on the bio belts and I'm going to run that back to the yard. And yes, I'm still going to have to make an additional trip. 
somewhere here because I've got one extra machine than I have got tractor. So um, there's the cultivator, the seeder, and the fertilizer spreader, and the front weight, and I've only got three sets of front links. Uh, there are three sets of front links. Three sets of links all together. Um, three sets and four things that we've got to carry back, including that front weight. Right, well, at least I can pick this one up. Little bit light on the steering there. But it's working. That's that's the main thing. It is actually working. So we can get you back into here. I'm really pleased with this. We've now got another field. And I think tomorrow in our next episode, we will most likely start cutting down a few of those trees there. We can so just start working our way through the next round of trees. And I'm thinking that we're going to set our sights a little bit bigger for the next round of trees. Uh, helper J has completed their task. That will probably be the case. Has completed doing all of the cultivating rather than the seed drill. Having completed their stuff. So let's bring this one back here. Like this. And we'll put that one back there. I'm just going to go right there, I think. Oh, hang on. Where, where's the cultivator? The cultivator can go in front of the plow, I suppose. Bio belts can go down there. The tractor can stop there as well. We're, we're not going to worry about that one for a minute. So let's go. No, I want to go this way through the machinery. You're done. Yeah, you're all finished. I know that we got a little stripe of it right there. But again, I'm, I'm not too worried about that. So... I'll bring this one down. The seed drill is still going, so we're going to run the cultivator back home. And we may as well hose the thing off while we're at it. Then we can sort of carry on. And, yeah, trees. The next trees to cut down. We've got quite a lot of trees there that we want to move. A whole load of them that we want to cut down all the way through here. And probably up to that next big rock that is over there. Right, if we go sort of towards that way, I know I'm driving a little bit fast here, but I, I feel I'm justified with my fast driving. We're in a hurry. So there, I've, I've justified it because we're in a hurry. We're in a tearing hurry. Let's go to you and get that one host off. And yes, look at the wear on that cultivator. I reckon it. that was why it was slowing down, because of how worn it is. We, we'll just run this one over beside the uh, workshop as well, and we'll give this one a quick service, because, my goodness me, look at it. It's worn, it's worn right down. Those discs are just about worn away. They're paper thin, they are. I've seen that. I've seen that a few times. And I imagine anybody that's worked in farming has seen that. Um, yeah, you see, like, the, the, the spikes on the front... Okay, let me, oh, I, I'm going to use it. I've got a pointer now. The spikes on the front, those bits right there. These wings, especially, you get wear right on the tip. That sort of rounds out. And then the wings, they get worn as well. And what you generally end up with is this bit sort of stays roughly where it is. It just wears back on the point. And that does wear faster than the side bits. And that's why you've got another one up there. Look, just back up a little bit. There, look, see, right there, it's got another one. And the way that that's shaped is you actually you undo that bolt and you undo that bolt. And you don't do them from the top. It's in behind where it's not going to get worn because that, that those they get shined off by quite a lot. Uh, you undo them from the back. And then you take that one off and you turn it round and you put it back on again. And then you've got another lease of life from the point on the top. And you sort of do that. Um, depends. I mean... It does depend on the soil you're using. Sometimes you'd have to do this every day. Other times it would last you several days. Um, but then you turn those over. And then every now and then you've got to change these wingtips. The wingtips out here, these, they, they sort of start to round off. They round off on the edges. And then they start to move in a little bit. And, like, it, it, if they're all roughly the same, you don't generally notice. You know that they're worn a bit because they're sort of rounded on the edges. But you don't fully appreciate how much they're worn. And they can be worn sort of a good third of the way back, maybe further. And you look at them and you think, oh, they're a little bit worn. But because that's what you're used to looking at for a few days, you don't sort of really appreciate how much they've been worn out. And then you go and get a brand new one and you put it up to it and you look at it and you're like, oh, uh, yeah, okay. M maybe that was quite badly worn after all. 
Um, these are a little bit easier to identify because of the having the extra point up there so you can run a quick comparison between the top and the bottom before you take them off and flip them over. These wear a lot slower, but they still wear. And I've seen lines of wear sort of back here and it wears it right down paper thin and then they break off and you're left with these um, discs. When these wear enough, they go razor sharp. Like I've, I've, I've known these to come out, and then as they start to wear away on the edges, they can get really, really sharp. Like sharp enough to properly cut you, and you really, really don't want that. It's, it's quite, it, it is quite nasty. You, you got to be careful. It doesn't happen very often. It does depend what you're doing. Um, I don't know very many cultivators, to be honest, that have discs like that, because of how quickly they wear and how expensive it is to replace the discs in the first place. Um, that's why they don't often have them. They'll have that, and they'll have a, a, another set of tines. But discs like that at sharp angles, you see them a lot less. And I think that is, oops, I think that is mainly because of the fact that they, it does get very expensive. Right, we'll repair that one for $60. And this one here is just about completely worn out. Uh, repair that one there for fifty dollars like that and there we go we've got new discs on we've got new blades new everything that's much better are they actually bigger i don't think they are i think they just had a bit of wear on it would be very cool if they'd shown them like that, that they were properly i'm looking at that and i'm honestly thinking that maybe they were maybe they had actually simulated a little bit of wear and tear on the wings of those uh, chisels. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It may, maybe it did. Maybe it didn't. I, I'd have to sort of compare scenes in the video, I think, when I'm editing. Just, just to find out if it did actually do that. If it did, absolutely wicked cool. That would be brilliant. That would be absolutely awesome if it has done that. Uh, if it hasn't, well, I'm, I'm not really surprised. That would... This is... It's kind of what I'm expecting is for it not to have done it. So I'm, I'm not really going to be disappointed that it hasn't. I'm just going to be incredibly pleasantly surprised if it has. We are down to 14% in our grass tank, I can see there. How much have we got left to actually plant? It's just... Oh, he's, he's just sort of just about finished off that bit there. So I'm going to bring you back this way. You over there like that there like that helper c has completed their task so i'm going to bring this helper over here to set that one going and then i'm going to no i want to go to this one and we're going to take one little drive down this side of the field then we're going to head over to the big stone over there and we're going to finish that little bit off over that side i've got 13 percent seed left in the tank i'm hoping that that is going to be just enough in the way of grass seed to finish this field off it's not going to use a great deal coming down here we've only we've got just like a, a few little spots just here and there that we just need to fill in so it's, it's not going to use a great deal of grass seed it will only use it in the spots that we haven't actually filled in and planted that one there is not affecting it in the slightest so I can run down through here. And you can see, like, it's gone down to 107. So it's slowly getting... It's, there's just, like, the odd little patch. And I know there's some more further down the hill down here. Still on 107. That one's coming. We're, we're, we're going to have them make this the Clash of the Titans. Ladies and gentlemen, the Clash of the Titans right now. There we go. Look at this. Look at this. The Titans are going to clash. Who's, who's going to win? He's going to win. He's going to get down there and he's going to say... Um... No ugly English lady. And I can't do any more. Oh, it's not. It's not. It looks like it might actually turn around and go on back up to the top and finish that one. Ideal. If, it, if it's going to do that, I'm, I'm very pleased. I'm very grateful. I'm going to go up this way and I'm going to manually do a little bit around this stone here. I may, yeah, I'm going to have to do two passes on this bit. So I'll just do a complete outside border on this. Right the way around like that. Right, I missed a little... Oh. He's gone and done that whole thing where they drive halfway across the field. They line themselves up. They look at where they've got to go next. 
and they, they get right to the, the, the beginning of the next bit of work and then they go, you know what? I've changed my mind. I don't want to do this. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do it anymore. That's what they do. Every time. That's why Sarah was fired. And why we had her sister come over here and start working for us instead. Oh, no, no, that, that wasn't why. She, um, she, she didn't do that. She, she stopped for a lunch break. Two minutes after arriving on site, which I honestly, I didn't think that was acceptable behavior. I thought that finishing, you know, stopping for a lunch break two minutes after arriving on site is probably something that you want to avoid doing. You know, I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say that it's probably not best practice. Now you, down here, look, see, see what I mean? See, right there, he's come right to the edge of it. And all I did was tell him to get going again. I didn't do anything else apart from say, Oi, mate, pull your finger out, do some work. And he's done it. He's, he's literally, that's all he needed. Was he, some, some of these people, my goodness me, you've got to stand over them with a whip and micromanage them. I don't want to be the manager that has to stand over these people and micromanage them. I want to be able to say to you, go and do that job. And I want to have confidence that you can go and do that job. Why can't, what, is this too much to ask? Is it, is it too much to ask? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it might just be too much to ask. They, they're just incapable of thinking for themselves. I don't want to be that manager. I do not want, to, I hate that manager, right? I genuinely despise that manager. I don't want to be him. I really don't. Don't make me be this person that I don't like. Because I will blame you for it, and I will be unduly harsh with you because you've made me do this. You're making me do this to you. You're, <laughs> you're making me hurt you. It's probably not the sort of thing that you want to be yelling at people, is it? Not, not, not really. That, no, this is probably not the, not, not. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to stop now. I'm, I'm going to stop yelling abusively at my employees, and I'm going to try to understand where they're coming from so why did you stop you came up to it you got yourself all lined up beautifully in position you were ready to go and then you didn't can we explore why this is the case all right i i, I want to understand i want to help are you having any personal issues is there anything that you need to work through yes i know the wi-fi has been down and I know that gaming time has been severely reduced because of it. I understand. I understand that a lack of gaming time can be frustrating. I honestly, hand on heart, I do. I, I understand. But this cannot stop you from doing your job. You can't just park up because the Wi-Fi is down. All right? This, this is not acceptable practice. Okay? The, the, we, we have what we call best practice here. We've, we follow best practice rules, okay? There, there are certain things that are acceptable and there are certain things that are not acceptable. Throwing the towel in because the Wi-Fi is down is not acceptable, okay? Right, I've, I've been understanding, I've understood your issues and I'm hoping that we've managed to work through them. So I don't want to see that happen again. You're going to stay there and you're going to watch this person over here do their work until such time as they're finished. Then you're going to go through and you're going to finish doing the fertilizing. And honestly, dude, all you had to do was go back there. All right? I don't think that was too much to ask. I really don't. You carry on up there. We've only got a tiny little bit left to do, but we've also only got a tiny little bit left of time. So we, you'll, you'll see the final strike tomorrow. Um, if you've enjoyed the episode... Then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.